I always thought it was really easy to be good. Don't get me wrong. Being good is really tricky. Yeah, never thought about it much. Oh, I mean, God is pretty clear. He tells us what we should do, and then we do it. I should know. After all, I am God's prophet. I travel all over the Mediterranean Sea, and everywhere you go, people have different ideas about what is right and wrong. Me and my sailors, we just do our best to make every god happy. I joy. Never gave it much thought. Then one day I couldn't believe my ears. God said, go to the great city of Nineveh. Preach against it. The people there have become too wicked. That was the day I found out how easy it is to disobey. I simply got up and headed in the other direction. I thought Tarshish would be a good place to go, so I went down to Joppa to catch a boat in that direction. Oh, I have some pretty steady business. I go up and down the coast, trading spices and lumber and grain and wine. Well, passengers we take whenever we can, because they are like free money. They take up no extra room and they pay well. And so, when this guy came and asked for passage somewhere, I asked him, Where are you going? And he said, It doesn't matter. I am running away from God. Well, I thought, he is joking. Ships? I didn't notice. The captain didn't care who I was, or where I was going, or why. He just took my money, told me I could go below the deck and leave the sailing to him. I was so tired, I fell asleep right away on some bales of wool. I have been sailing my whole life, and I have never seen a storm come up like that one. It seemed to rise out of the sea. We started to throw cargo overboard to make our boat lighter, and we prayed to every god we could imagine. I guess it might have been a bit rough up top. I didn't notice. It was like a nightmare. I woke up to a storm and this crazy man shaking me and telling me we were all going to die if I didn't pray. Pray? I was running away from God. The sailors, they were terrified. They wanted to blame somebody. And so, we threw lots. And our passenger lost. And we realized, we know nothing about this man. We asked, who are you? Where do you come from? Who are your people? The men were crowded around me. I didn't know what they were going to do, but I knew I had to say something. So I said, I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the land and the sea. I'm so glad God made the sea. If the stories about this God are true, and our passenger was really running away from him, we were in trouble. I grabbed his arm. I said, what have you done? The sea around us was getting even rougher. The sailors demanded, what should we do to you to make the sea calm? What should they do to me? I started to panic. Then I realized something. Maybe the storm really was my fault. Maybe all these men were going to die because I was disobedient. He told us to throw him into the sea. Into the sea! I could not be responsible for the life of an innocent person. And so I commanded my men, roll to throw her. But the shore was too far, and the sea was too wild. I did not want to do it. It was just a last resort. Trust me, I did not want God to hold me responsible for an innocent life. But what choice did I have? It was the strangest thing. I was just relaxing near the bottom, when all of a sudden I thought, God wants me to swim near the top. So, I did. Oh, the water was so cold. 
the sea was suddenly calm, and we knew who the real God was, and we gave our promises to him alone. So then, I saw this thing sinking in the water, and I had the urge to go up to it. It looked like one of those people things. But it's weird, because people usually aren't down in the ocean. Suddenly, I thought that God wanted me to swallow this thing. So, I opened my mouth up wide and gulped it down. Which actually wasn't as much fun as I thought it would be. I couldn't believe that I was alive inside that fish. I was expecting a long, painful death, but the hours passed and that didn't happen. I began to pray. I turned back to God. Back to his plans. Back to obedience. Honestly, I'd kind of forgotten about the whole swallowing a man thing. Then, a couple days later, I sensed that God wanted me to swim closer to land. All of a sudden, I knew I was going to throw up. And boy, did I ever. In fact, that person came right out. And it was still alive. That's got to be some kind of miracle. It was a miracle, and this time, when God told me to go to Nineveh, I grabbed my second chance and hit the road in the right direction. 